You need something? Get in line. We're already swamped. I brought you something to brighten your mood. My lights? You got the bridge lights? How? No, never mind how. None of my business. And none of Brecken's either. You just tell him you found him in a shoebox. You're my ace new partner, Crane. I'm gonna take care of you. Tomorrow night, we're gonna be a lot more secure. Finally. I was getting worried you weren't coming. You keep pumping red smoke in the air, you're gonna have all kinds of visitors. Red's all I had left. Anyway, you're here, so it did the job. Give this envelope to Aziz at the bazaar. Tell him it's from Ryan. Red phosphorus, lye, iodine, muriatic acid, diethyl ether, phenyl nitrate. Geez, not exactly Grandma's recipe for Christmas cookies. Lena, this is Crane. Are you there? Crane, it's a man. Lena's tied up. Can I help you? Someone just gave me a grocery list with red phosphorus, lye, iodine, muriatic acid, diethyl ether, and phenyl nitrate. Ah, then someone just gave you a recipe for cooking slam. Rise's crews have been using it to stay up for days at a time. Volatiles are more reasonable than someone tanked up on that stuff. And maybe I should put this guy out of business. Actually, we're pretty desperate for phenyl nitrate. It's a lab grape disinfectant, and we're completely out of it. Well, you want me to pick up his shopping list? Definitely. Then find me at the tower. I've got an idea that should throw a monkey wrench into the operation. <laughs> Aziz, Ryan sent me. What happened to Assam? What do you think? You guys take a lot of chances out there. Look, I've got everything but the phenyl nitrate. And you don't have what I need, and that's not gonna cut it with Ryan. What can I do? The courier wrecked his car in the tunnel last night. He's with Assam now, and your phenyl nitrate is stuck in the trunk of his car. You wanted to go get it, because there's no more in Haran. That's the last phenyl nitrate anyone's going to be seeing. What's his car look like? Hmm. White, I think. That's all I remember, white car. So you're really going to do this? Ryan doesn't like to be disappointed. You must be pretty tough. If you don't die doing this thing, I just might have an opportunity for you. I got your phenyl nitrate. Oh, fantastic. Bring it here. <clears throat> I'm counting on you to come tonight. Please, don't just stand up. You're a lifesaver. Yeah, Ryan's not gonna think so when I get done with him. I've got a better idea. Bring him this instead. It's the Alavon, a sleeping aid. Let him cook up a batch with that in it. It'll send Rise's goons off to Dreamland. I don't think Rice will like that. <laughs> Probably not, but they could use this sleep. 
And there's no more phenyl nitrate, so I guess he's out of business either way. And I like your thinking, Amon. You found some crayons. Oh, fantastic. You're the best. The kids are going to lose their minds. But in a good way. Here, take this. You'll make better use of it than I will. Set fire to this place. You want to burn alive? Just give us the stuff. It's not worth dying for, Ryan. Hand it over. We're getting tired of asking nicely. Ryan, it's me. I got your stuff. Open up. Oh, thanks. They were just about to torch this place. Who were those guys? Competitors. There's no more phenyl nitrate left in Haran, so they were hoping I'd got my last order. Here's something a little extra for coming through for me. Guess this is gonna be my last batch. Pleasure doing business with you. you know, take some advice. After you finish your deal with Rice, why don't you go somewhere else? Don't stay here. Way ahead of you, pal. Yeah, no, I don't think you are. Are you there? Come in. What is it? So you remember me? I know I remember you. You were at Rice's camp when I lost my hand. You were one of Brecken's guys. If you were anyone else, I'd kill you. Oh, lucky me. That's right. As for Rice, I'd settle with that psycho in my own time. But first, I need your help to find my brother, Nazim. He's the one who helped me escape. He went for food at the supermarket, but he hasn't been back since. I'll pay you to find him. What do you intend to pay me with? Are you kidding? My brother and me worked for Rice. You know what that means? Collecting stuff. That's all we ever did. We look for stuff, we find stuff, we take stuff. Well, we wound up with a lot of stuff. Some of it we turn over to Rice. Some of it we kept ourselves, you know. In case things got too crazy. Not like stealing, but protecting for the future. That's just smart, right? Until you got caught. We still got plenty left. Weapons, medicine, money. We've got stashes all over the city. But now Rice's men are looking for us, so I have to be careful going out. So we've got a deal? <sighs> I'll think about it. It will be worth your while, I promise. Him. We used to be friends. You bastards! I'm not telling you anything! No problem, Nassim. We've got time. And you still have seven fingers left. Oh, wait. Six. We know you've hidden supplies around town. Rice wants them back. There's no sense lying to us. All right! Hey, we did take a few minutes. And hit them up here stinking Come on! He'll attract all of the infected if he keeps screaming like that! And put a gag on him, because he's going to be screaming a whole lot more.
You? Your brothers pay me to find you. Oh, well, you've definitely earned your money. But Osman is in danger. Raisi's men know where he is now. It's a lot to ask. But could you take him a message? Tell Osman that he's got to get out of there, and that he should meet me at the Red Wall stash. He'll know what that means. All right, I'll tell him. Now we'd both better get out of here. Maybe you sought me out. Raisha's men got your brother. He talked before I could get to him. So Nazim is dead? No, no, he's all right, though you're both short a few fingers now. Anyway, he says he wants you to meet him at the Red Wall stash. He said you'd know what that means. It means you didn't double-cross me. You're a straight shooter, Brecken's guy. You want to join me and my brother? Yeah, no, I'll just take my pay. Fair enough. I promised you good. This is good. These keys will open three stashes in different parts of the slums. If you can get to them, they're all yours. Good luck, Brecken's guy. Looking for the saviors. Don't know what you're talking about. I'm one of Brecken's men from the tower. I don't care where you're from. Get your ass out of here or I'll stop being so fucking polite. Listen, I know you're smuggling people out of the slums. There's a girl who came through. Jade? I think you better get the hell out of here. No, just listen. I cut Rise up and now his whole goddamn gang is after me. I could use some cooperation here. You? You're the one who chopped Rice's hand off? Yeah, and now I have to get to Sector Zero. What's your name? Crane. Well, Crane, you're in for some heartbreak if you think going to Sector Zero will get you off Rice's shit list, but wait here. I got a guy here who claims he's the one who took Rice's hand off. Crane. Yeah, that's what he said. Really? Are you sure? Oh, okay. Right. Come here. Okay, we'll get you to the other side. Right when? Right now. What about payment? What you did to Rice, that's more than enough payment for us. Go to the collapsed tunnel that led to Old Town. Knock at the door that leads to the sewers. Someone will take good care of you. Will do. Thanks. Nah, man. Thank you.
Crane? Yeah, that's me. Good to meet you. I'm Hazan. I'm going to be helping you change your scenery. So did you take Jade through too? Who? She's from here. Dark hair, pretty, tough as nails. Uh, maybe. Don't know. We don't always ask names. Dawood, we need to talk about your situation. Sorry about the wild goose chase, but I couldn't risk you tailing me. These guys are pretty serious about following their procedures. This isn't fair to Salma. Salma and me are done. That's not the point. So, what is? You got something in mind? I've still got a gun, you know. Crane, we've got the rule. Everybody minds their own business. If you don't follow the rules, you don't go through. <sighs> no problem. Okay. From here on out, you're on your own. The route is marked. I'll stay in touch over radio. It's been a pleasure, my friend. We need to do this one by one. And this man needs to go first. But he just got here. We've been here for hours. I don't make the rules. Wait here. <laughs>
shit, where are they? Reckon do you copy? Crane here. What's going on, mate? Tell everyone to stay away from the Saviors. They sold me out to Rice. I barely made it out alive. Shit. I hope you're okay. Be sure to contact Troy when you get to Sector Zero. She's the only friendly face you have over there. Got it. Will do. Keep your fingers crossed for me. Here goes nothing. Jade, it's Crane. Do you copy? Jade, it's Crane. Can you hear me? Damn it. All right. It's time for some local talent. Troy, this is Crane. Do you copy? Crane, it's great to hear from you. What can I help you with? Yeah, I'm in your neck of the woods now, and I'd love to put our heads together. Where can I find you? You're here? In the Zero? <laughs> Fantastic. Have you seen a pair of towers, one taller than the other, with scaffolding around them? We call that our loft. Head that way and we'll be waiting. Dr. Camden, do you copy? Crane here. Camden, can you hear me? Crane? Yes, yes, I hear you. What's going on? I'm in Sector Zero. Is Jade with you? No, she hasn't been able to reach me yet. And even if she does manage to get here, it won't be easy getting in. I had to barricade myself inside because of Rise and his thugs. You okay? Trapped inside my lab, but safe. You coming my way? Not yet, Doctor. First, I have to find Jade and recover Zara's research. Okay, I'll sit tight then. Not like there's anywhere for me to go. Be careful out there, Crane. 